So we are about to head here to cabin three. I think we're expecting it to be about eight, just over eight kilometers. We're trying really hard not to be nervous, but we're the only ones here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty intimidated and I'm putting on a very brave face. I want to show Arthur that we can do this. So he's just in the back of the van getting his stuff gathered up. Do you want to see a bear? Uh, I don't, not till tomorrow when we're driving back. to cabin two. It's all closed up because of COVID. But and I just figured out why I could do I could barely do two kilometers in my pack. It's heavy. Uh -huh. You've got what all do you have in your pack? Um I have ten. Mm-hmm. I have a we do pickaxe. Let's see. Let's see the we do. Oh yeah. And he has a blanket and yeah. then I have what else? Your sleeping pad? Oh, yeah, I also have And a sleeping bag? Sleeping bag? Yeah. And how much water? Um, three liters? Yeah. Three liters of water. It's a lot of water. It's more water than I'm carrying.
in the upper camping area, there is a pile of wood, picnic table, campfire, more picnic tables. I think I would drag one of the tables over closer to the fire if we were having one. Arthur's in our tent, which is all set up. And then we're actually gonna go down to the picnic table beside the cabin to eat, because I just feel like, you know, in an abundance of caution, eating farther away from our tent is gonna make me feel a bit more comfortable. While well, Arthur is still in the tent and I'm walking towards where we're gonna eat, I just wanted to share kind of the reality. I'm super anxious. Oh, here he comes. I'm trying to put on such a brave face. Honestly, I'm so scared. But it's so good to be able to push myself out of my comfort zone. And I know logically we are so safe. Kind of nice to camp in such a peaceful setting. I think it'll be us and the coyotes tonight. <laughs> we yes. had a... Hey. We don't. I, I can't. We had a record. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna get all cozy. Um, doing a little bit of drawing. Can I show them your drawing? Um, sure. So this is the drawing Arthur did. Which way does it kind of go? Kind of like that way? Yeah, it goes like that, and there's so, a cricket right here, flower right there, butterfly there, and I, I didn't really have any room for my mom. So, but since it's not like the entire trail, my mom would just be like up there. Yeah, so this is Arthur hiking. morning so it's just after eight and we are starting our hike um, we opted not to have breakfast which worked out well <laughs> we're gonna stop for breakfast in about six kilometers butterflies um, but we had an unfortunate search in the morning we tried to pump our water and there is like a wasp's nest under the pump so I guess jerky and a granola bar each uh, at cabin two where there was somebody who set up as a tent so we've kind of encountered a couple people today there was a couple who were camping at cabin two there was an older couple who came in on uh, their bikes and then we heard some other people hiking it sounded like and the oh and then we had a trail runner pass us just after we left cabin three so he was going a pretty quick pace. So definitely feel 90% better today than I did yesterday about being out hiking. Not nearly as nervous. There is nothing quite as nice as that sight. Look, there's Penelope. 